Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. It is Monday, February 27th, uh, 2012. I'm Michael Eckford. And I'm Fiona Forbes. We have a great show coming up for you today. But first, we want to do our use and look outside. Now, Mike, on Thursday, yes, I you, said, you it's called spring. spring. You I'm called calling spring. It. I'm putting away all my clothes. And then it snowed on Friday. Yeah. So and what's I today? said as soon as I got here this morning, it's spring. Yes, we love it. Is it supposed to really it's snow It's supposed today? to snow tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's supposed to cloud over in most regions in Vancouver tonight. I found this out this morning uh, from Mark Madriga and Brother Jake Edwards. They were both on the radio because they're having weather wars. Yeah. And Madriga and Jake both said it's snowing. Snowing really? tonight, a little bit of snow on the ground tomorrow morning well, when you wake up. I Don't blame me if I'm wrong. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just the Putting portal. it out there? I'm just the portal. I'm You're just using the, the secret. Put it out there. It'll happen. It'll be good. How was your weekend, man? Uh, weekend was great. Why weren't you here Friday? I wasn't here Friday. The lovely Bianca was uh, filling in for me. But uh, I was asked to co-host a wonderful ladies' luncheon in support of Pink Shirt Day. Bullying does stop here. Pink Shirt Day is happening on Wednesday. And you can get these T-shirts to help support the cause at London Drugs. And uh, it was really fun. I've actually got some pictures from the lunch. We did it at Society in Yale Town. Look at all the lovely ladies in pink. Nice. It was great. Was uh, it all Goyles? It was all, it was all girls. It was, a la it was officially a ladies' lunch. I mean, guys were welcome. Um, we weren't going to bully them out of the lunch. Because <laughs> yeah, that right. would be weird. <laughs> Just boo them out. <laughs> boo! Get out of here! No, it was awesome. And this is my table of ladies that I lunched with. The lovely Karen Kay. She co-hosted with me. And uh, Mary Zilba. You've met her on the show. Sophie Louie. Sophie, Jody Vance. Jody. And that's Robin Jessen from Vancouver View Magazine. My Just goodness. a few of the great people that were there. But you can support the cause, too. Just go to the website to find out more. There's all sorts of ways to support it. But we were raising money for the Boys and Girls Club, which was great. Don't forget, February 29th, pick up your t-shirt, pick okay. up your pen, support anti-bullying efforts in your community. Very nice. Yeah, I knew you had an epic weekend because you were going to Whistler, but it was yeah. also epic because it was your birthday. It was my birthday. And was... I can't remember, is it on the 24th or the 25th? No, it is on the 25th. 15 years. 15 years, and yours is on May 7th. Nope. No, Keep May going. 6th? Nope. Really? <laughs> yeah. May 5th. No, that's my mom's, though. Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> when do you think it is, Mike? I was born on Mother's Day. There's a limited day to the, well, uh, the week. That May led. 8th. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, thank you. I went the wrong way. I knew I was close. You went the wrong way? You <laughs> asked me about it. I went the wrong way. Uh, 15 years together once again. But it was a lovely weekend. Whistler, if you were up there on the local hills on Sunday, oh, my goodness. It was crazy. Tons of snow. Great pow. Uh, was it deep pow? Yeah, it was deep pow. I just like and saying that. I don't know what it means. Uh, but of course, it was my weekend, and I, I don't, you know, week. It's or sorry, did I say it's my weekend? It was my birthday. <laughs> what did you do? Do you want to elaborate on that? This card may explain uh, why I'm having trouble remembering things. So my kids, Aww. they like to make cards, right? They're very. Um, you know, they're very industrious. What does they're, that say? they're four and a half and two and a half, By almost the way, five, almost three. Did yeah. they do the page on the left? Too? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's very, very that's like modern art. They did everything. Yeah, yeah. They love So but what, what happens this the black is, thing. Just wait. What they do is they line up paint and then they create. And then they explain it after. So if any graphics need to be put in, then they don't Do you shush them if along. they ask questions in the middle of your sentence? The black bottle underneath it, I know it's hard to read, says tequila. <laughs> they know Papa. And those are two margarita glasses on either side of it and a pineapple in the back. And just to clarify, so, how old are they? So they are uh, four and a half and two and a half, almost five, almost three. They're a little more than four and a half. But wow, boy, that, that cuts you to the quick, doesn't it, as you go through? So anyway. You are going to have trouble on your hands. I had to drink till I forgot about that. No, it was fine. But it was cute. It's because we go to Mexico, right? And Don't try and soften it up. It's funny. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> it's because Daddy likes tequila, all right? You were born with me. Daddy drinks because you cry. <laughs> That's just, right. Just know that now. If you were better children, <laughs> I wouldn't have to have tequila. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday. And the other thing that happens Kidding. around your birthday are the Oscars. Yes. Are you pushing away the I'm one? pushing away the anti-bullying. I just don't want to see it right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awkward. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the Oscars were last night. They and were. Angelina Jolie, she defined the word BAM when she walked out. Now, when she walked out, there were, she look, did the what? weirdest leg thing. What, is she, what? That's Lordosis in the so animal weird. kingdom. But then the fellas that went, do you recognize the guy uh, in the middle? Uh, yeah. Alexander Payne has been on our show of before course, for yeah. the movie Election. Yeah, very nice. And uh, Mr. Rash over there on the side, that's his name, not his. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> not his issue. <laughs> not, his, not his issue. Uh, he struck a pose. I didn't know Moby won an Oscar. Uh, yeah. And the most. 
awkward thing about that is that Angelina Jolie was just over on the side when he did that, and then they cut back to her to give the next award, and she didn't really know what to do, and she didn't want to do the leg thing anymore. Why did because... she do that? She's Angelina Jolie. She doesn't need to make us notice her. Yeah, she did it on the red carpet and everything else. And then she did someone... the booty toot. This is our favorite, uh, obviously, well, I think, I suspect digitally manipulated uh, Photoshop No, 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 this photo. was just like she, this had, is... she had two slits. Oh, okay, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see that, but uh, very funny. And this, there was a Twitter account with Angie's, Angie's right leg. Angie's leg, right leg. You can follow it. It's got like 15 or 20,000 followers now, so that was pretty funny. And then I like the picture where uh, they're actually showing um, uh, the two of them side by side, the imitation and the original as well. It was all pretty funny. Very, very funny. And uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, of course, nobody knew what would happen on the red carpet when he approached. There was a lot of lead up to it. Guess what? We're all talking about his movie, and we weren't a week ago, so he's clever either way. Uh, but I think he surprised Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, people were debating whether Seacrest was surprised. I think you only have to watch this to see and, uh, that he didn't really know what was going to happen. He kind of looked mad, hey? Yeah. The interesting thing is actually, it's actually made by South Korea. No, 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 sorry. You've got Kim Jong. You've got, you've got Kim Jong. Hey, Lord. Wait a minute, we need to clean this up. Now, if somebody, it's fine, it's okay for you. Now, if somebody asks you what you are wearing, you will say, Come to the Have fun, Miss. So, Ak, here are the pro, real or fake? Do you think Seacrest was really mad? You know, as I watch it again, I don't think Seacrest is really mad. I don't think he surprised a guy like that on the red card, but I think he probably knew what was happening. Seacrest is a pro. And even if he didn't, he got the joke. It's funny, right? Two seconds later, he had a brand new jacket on, so we can Someone got ill on you. Keep it was pancake you. mix. Was it? Yeah, and Seacrest does have a sense of humor on his radio show this morning. He said he was having a pancake breakfast in honor of the Oscars. So you just kind of wash it off and away you go. You do, you just brush your shoulders off. And every now and then on the internet we find a picture of our relationship and here is today's. <laughs> Perfect. I'm the right leg. <laughs> yes, right, you are. Awesome. We're going to take a quick break and we'll return. We're